Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 11 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Yesterday I tried to make a single video with a couple of maps and a couple of scenes and it turned out it will run nearly two hours, so I'm going to be cutting this down to one map and one scene and we'll see how the well that does for us. I do want to start before I go in and do some crafting and training. As you can see, we can do four different... There are four different trainings we can do here, so... Alright. That is an improved attack, which I'll probably make use of. Lightning resistance. So, his lightning resistance has now improved from horrendously bad to actually pretty damn bad. Hmm, if I do it again, I can get more though. Interesting. Well, because I used a bunch already, the other two are not available anymore. Yep. And make sure we have plenty of healing potions. Healing potions are our friends. And that'll do. Now about the scene I'm going to see. It turns out it happens at the beginning of day number 19. In my particular game. Probably three days after some other scene I saw already. But I thought I had to go to this place. And then in my trial run, I went to other places instead. Every time, day 19, see the scene. In any case, this is the most interesting place to go to right now, so we'll see that anyway. So, this is where the Beastmen tribes are living. Looks like a pretty nasty place to live, actually. So let's search them out. She is just being a dork here. She's thinking that the Beastman tribes just spend all their days being fluffy and fuzzy. Which, after a certain point of view, might be true. What the hell does that mean? Okay, anyway. We better go find them. Oh, she sees a human figure. Well, let's go. So... Human figure! Check it out. So, let's try and get him over. Yeah, let's coax him out into the open. Hey, hold up, Fio, watch out. Oops, it wasn't a beast man, it's a goblinoid. This catches Fios off guard. But we know what we're doing. Goblins are things we kill. Fia, don't you know the difference between a demi-human and a goblinoid? Oh, oops. In training, we got caught in a new skill here. It's pretty expensive, though. I'm gonna take off the mining skill. We haven't actually used it that much. I don't think I ever actually told you. Karin can actually do the mining... can go to mining points and get mining done. Just like Avaro. But unlike Fia. But only as long as he's got this ability equipped. Anyway. Let's see just how heavy Karin can hit now. 
That's heavy. I think I'm going to save that for lighter fare. Because I'm trying to capture everything here. You know, I should have started with Yeah and ended with Avaro. Because Avaro needs the experience. He's two levels behind. Oops. Well, let's take it easy on these guys. Leave them with 10 hit points so that Avaro can finish them off. You see down here it shows the enemies as they move. Oh, defend. One of them, the first time I visited this map, I thought was a dragon. Exactly just a, it was actually just a Lodon. And that's in universe a kind of l big lizard. Let's see, heavy hitter. Kill it. Man, that skill hits too hard. I want to hit hard, but I want it to survive. This will be perfect. As long as we've got enough life, that looks like fine. thing we definitely need to do is healing potion he may be our best tank but he still only has a limited amount of hit points okay 12 to yep we're good Bugskin. Hmm. Why don't you head back to base, Karin? There you can be healed. And we can deploy you straight from where Rafia happens to be. Hmm. I didn't realize Navarro was resistant to these guys' attacks. Another bug skin. Now, you see the symbol here next to the flag? I believe that's burning. Yep. Karin is burning. It's at level 2 right now, so he takes 2 damage per turn. And this is where the Beastmen tribes live, I guess. Looks pretty uh, rugged, don't it? And here's one of them. Her ears kind of look like Fia's ears. What? Hey. Yeah, anyway. So this is another representative of the Beastman tribes, I guess. But she doesn't say much. We just observe her. Yeah, the, our observation that the, that the Beastmen are doing pretty badly. They're kind of 
listless, unmotivated. Kind of like they're waiting around to die or something. Well, they haven't hired us to do anything, but we're going to do something anyway, aren't we, Fia? Fia, Fia says that they look so beat up and their hair and their fur and their ears and their tails just aren't fluffy enough. So she's decided we're going to help them by fixing something up or giving them medicine so their fur is shiny again. Yeah, if we knew what caused it, we might be able to do that. Fia speculates it's those gobl goblinoids we thought. But of all knows that goblinoids aren't any match for beastmen uh, under normal circumstances. The beastmen have been weakened by something else and the goblinoids are taking advantage of their weakness to encroach on their territory. And now of our catches on to something Fia said. Something about their fur being something or other. Yeah, yeah, she did say that, and she apologizes for talking about their fur and stuff. Because that's what she talks about all the time. But no, he, she's actually got a point. The Beastman tribes kind of have this grooming habit like animals do. And normally their fur would be pretty well taken care of. But it's true that they're... In Hell, they even see some Beastmen grooming themselves as we speak. But, even with the grooming, it doesn't seem to be making them, you know, groomed. And if all speculates, it's because the water didn't, is, I don't know, polluted or something. And that's why they've been weakened. Alright, great. That means if we fix the water supply, then everything will be fixed. So yeah, let's do that. Now where will we find a water supply? Oh, well, duh then. This gives a pretty good quantity of MEGA POWER! Doesn't it? Hmm... I got a healing potion out of that. I have a bit of a suspicion that those goddess cards aren't perfectly random. Because up to this point, whenever I go behind this door and get those goddess cards, I get a blue string. Which later in the game I presume I'll be able to get easily, but at this point in the game I can't get it all. Only one of these goddess cards just inexplicably gives it to me every time. There you go. Blue magic string. 
I hate it when they mess with the random number generator. Even if it's to my benefit. That's not the way things should be done. Magic sand. Alright, one priority is to stand on the feather so the enemy doesn't stand on the feather. It will heal the enemies as well as it'll heal me. Damn it. Because it was a critical hit, I didn't get to capture it with the capture skill. Blue magic string again. I'm telling you, the numbers are rigged. If he has a decent chance of pulling this off, Nope. Karin is almost guaranteed to pull it off. Code is Alright, now that we're here, we need to be a little bit careful. Because there's clowns to the left of me, and jokers to the right. And we're stuck here in the middle. Okay. I'll leave the right side alone for now. Ah, there's a bat up in the corner. Do you know how hard it is to get a bat down in range of a ranged attack? I'm gonna have to get Fia up there, she's got three range. And sometimes the bat will just stay out of reach. Hmm. This way. Alright, this is where the water comes from. So, let's fix it up. Done. But, the Beastman tribes... Well, they aren't showing any gratitude, but they aren't showing any malice either, so I guess it's a win. Yeah, this isn't something that will just fix their... everything all at once. So eventually they'll come around and be grateful. Okay, bat, I'm going to chase you down and kill you, you hear me? Sucker. You're gonna die, clown. Since these suckers don't have a melee attack, they always defend when you engage them in melee. Which buffs up their defense, making them hard to kill. Gah! Code is Uh, 
New kind of bat, new kind of bat fang. But whatever works. Hmm. Yeah, let's pull you back. And let Karin take over for a bit. Karin's attack isn't any higher. Golden hair. Yeah, I don't know, I'd call it more sand colored. Hmm. Oh, I can counterattack with rock shots. But it's a magic attack, and that's not really Karin's forte. And now he's out of magic to do with it with. Get over here, Fia. I bet you can deal some damage to these bastards. Die, bastard, die. Code of Kaisha. Hmm, this is a bit inconvenient. But, he has got good at... Oh yes. I mentioned that skill before. It did the opposite of what I thought it did, but I've mentioned that skill before, I'm certain. That's a skill heal Karin has. Goddess protection. So when they're standing side by side and Fia gets attacked, Karin will sometimes step in to protect her. I think it happens about half the time, so it's a pretty good protection scheme. I wonder if it would have worked when Fia is attacking as well. Well, I guess we'll never know. You bastard! Uh. But we got everything almost cleaned up over here. As you can see, there don't seem to be any more enemies coming out of word work. Which looks pretty accurate. Goodies. Another healing potion. Kodo 
And another healing potion. Deploy point. Let's see. Kodo Kaishita. Moratioko. That's a thief skeleton key. Or general key, or something or other. Anyway, if I equip it on my other characters, they'll be able to open doors and pick locks. Open doors and chests. Let's not forget. We've got time. Let's see, that is almost all of the gathering points. I think the last remaining one is over in this unexplored area. Ha <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm not laughing at that. Here's one of the Lodon, the giant lizards. This skill it's using is actually pretty powerful, but each of these I can, can use it only twice, I believe. But it still hurts like a bitch. Thank you, Karin. You're a lifesaver. Get. And there's another Lodon over there doing the same thing. Okay, Karin, I'm counting on you. Fuck yeah. Kodo Kaishita. Ore no debandana. No, you remember. Caught in here is weak against lightning. Not as weak as he was a minute ago, but. Yeah, he'll be able to take this pretty well. Still at it. Maybe I should have healed Fia. But that defensive skill is so freaking buff. Hmm. Okay, strategic retreat. Yeah, even. Cotton will take a pretty good hit off of this. Hmm. They're pretty slow, so 210 damage. Or I can take a cheap shot, which doesn't do much. Yeah, cheap shot. Hmm. Kodo Kaishita. I guess those suckers are pretty territorial. Well, we're safe for the moment. And any time now, if I will come back. Kodo 
Okay, it'll probably survive this. But hey, free damage. My father was really low on fatigue, meaning he'll get tired and won't be any use if I take him out directly oh, no, right now. Stop. So yeah, let's get him healed up too. Hmm. No, let's do this the right way. This is the one that still had the spell points to make the attack, so I'm gonna defend from it. It's cheap, but I know there are at least two guys back. Oh, great, they can use it again. How many guys are there? I could have sworn they could only use it one or two times. Yeesh. Takes four SP. Hmm, I must have been thinking of some other enemy. Well, in any case, this should probably kill it. Horned lizard skin. Is that the skin of a lizard with horns? Or a lizard skin that has horns on it? Actually, not at all ambiguous in the Japanese. Time to kill you yet? Uh, nope, I'm gonna have my tank tank. Yeah, provided it doesn't get a critical hit, this will be fine. And then, follow up with this, and it will probably die. Cross your fingers. Lizard Fang. Alright, and I'm full on my inventory of animals. Almost. Counting got hurt pretty bad, so... Oh crap, there's another one! Uh, well, Avaro's pretty well off. Wow! I didn't know Avaro had the resistance to this. He'd, it would have been better to have him doing the tanking. And those things are so slow. They got three hits against Karin, because Karin's even slower, but... I should have picked Avaro. Man. Hmm. Sometimes it pays to use the right enemy, the right guy for the job, and sometimes you just screw it all up. Ah, rip off. Well, that's all the use of he is going to be. Well, I wanted Avaro to get more kills, and his level up 
This is a decent level up as far as things go. Horned Lizard Blood. What gives? Does it actually have different properties because the lizard had horns? Alright. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I got all the gather points. So that's this free map, and next we get to see the Day 19 scene. Hmm, yeah, this is actually pretty good. Filling in the gaps. Oh, this prick. Alright, he's reading Kisnia's report. We're all proud of you that you are literate enough to get through all those big words. So, what is this? He is disappointed. That's right. He's not asking her for her opinion of the people. He's asking her why she didn't secure the ruins like he, she was ordered to. Well, she's just making up the convenient excuses that got her out of the battle in the first place. Surprisingly, or perhaps just because he's that self-centered, he calls what she's doing making excuses for herself. Oh, this is all about you, isn't it? You think that she just had a nice little chat with Navarro and, and then let him run away, huh? Okay, strictly speaking, I guess it's accurate. But you're still a prick. Well, he tells her that she should have killed them, and she comes back saying that they didn't want to fight. As if he cares. So now we understand that this uh, third prince is the supposed owner of the ruins. So rather than the kingdom being a directly kingdom owned resource, it's owned by this guy. Well, and now he's just calling them thieves for taking his stuff and telling her she shouldn't be listening to them at all. Yes, your highness. And Kisner's cat caught on that he's not going to be listening to anything she's got to say. So she shuts up. Now he says he can make good use of the information she brought back, though. 
いいだろうならば遺跡を確保できるだけの手はずを整えるまでだ、so、he's starting some scheme in his head. 兵器として運用すれば破格の威力を持つ遺跡を先頭に用いずわざわざ対人での野戦を選ぶバカだ魚するのはたやすいだろうはさて奴らがどうすれば遺跡を放棄し手のひらで踊ってくれるかよーく考えねばならんな。Oh, isn't he such a good schemer? He says he needs to figure out a way to separate our party from the ruins and get them dancing in the palm of his hand. What a prick. k i s n e r apologizes to herself. Well, quietly to a f a r o and Fia. No, you could have a worse boss. So I caught a whole bunch of guys. Hmm. These are all kind of useful. I'm gonna start with this one. Ipan. Yeah, these are all useful. That adds 10 to the CP, so I can equip that big hitter with the good skills now. And. Oh man, I have a lot of goblinoids. Ooh. Now, if I had another five, I've only got three more, we could get another HP boost. Oh man, he is such a good tank. And out of these fire elemental guys. Oh damn, I only took three. This is my tank, and he is a good tank. Alright. I'd like to get more lightning resistance. It would take five more lightning guys. Are any of these guys useful anymore? Let's see. If I get enough spirits. Heat pump. These two are useless now. You see this、uh, Nippon? I used them in this, but the next one needs two stars. And these guys only have one, so they. No. So I can release them using this. Bye bye. Other things that are important on this are the. First, there's a symbol of what type they are, the number of stars. The border around them shows which element they are. These guys are no element or physical. Here's a water and there's a earth. And finally, this symbol meaning male or female. And some things don't even have a symbol because hard to determine what exactly it is. As for males and females, I would need them to have two stars though, so they're useless in that regard. Ah, and since we got that blue magic string, we can make this. And that's another plot point. Now, this is the final ring. I think this one was blue. It adds to the magic defense. And this well, I haven't been able to build up to now. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wait. I have a bunch of yellow seeds now, so I'm going to go watch a scene. This is clearing out more of the castle. 
Hmm. Was there this fountain here before? And the boxes there and there? Was this doorway as elaborate? Well, I'm pretty sure there's changes. Whether they're the ones I stated or not. But anyway, we're clearing off more of the castle. Yay, more space to put things. Oops. See that? I finally can completed a figure. So now that's active. And here's the effects of figures we put together. This is the effects simply from the buildings themselves, and this is the total effect of all the figures we put together. We've only got that one figure, and it gives you this. Adds to HP, SP, and fatigue. So, for instance, as we were looking at him in the training screen, he had 50 HP, since we buffed it by giving him all those goblinoids. And now that we've completed the figure as well, he's got 53. So that's what you can do with the figures. Was there something else? Yeah, pretty soon I'll be able to make another different kind of figure. And of course, if I could do multiple figures of the same kind, I think that will work as well. Now, to make use of that old guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I only need seven. Okay. No. I know it's here. There you are, bastard. Oh. I can only build three of these. Hey, that makes this convenient yes. in the end. Because, if I have three dirt left over, I can create this for the first time and get a little yes. MEGA POWER out of it. Yes. Now... Now once these guys start dropping fruit, I'll be able to make a bunch of stamina potions. Why do I need stamina potions? I never use them? Well, to answer the question is to answer it. I want them because they are there to be had. If that's how you play RPGs, that's just the way it is. So I think we're... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's set this area aside for another... This is a box figure, they call it. So we'll set this aside for another box figure. But anyway... There's something else... That's right. I made some more shields so I can take the shields apart. And upgrade things. Let's start with things we actually use. And then just throw it away on anything I happen to be carrying. So, I think that will wrap this up for today. Tomorrow! Wait a minute. Yeah, that will wrap us up for today. 
tomorrow I'm going to come back. I'll see a couple more maps, and then there'll be a new event for us to watch. I will see you later, YouTube. No, no, no. Save, don't load.